research scientist in Chile, they figured out a way to resurrect uh, some of the prehistoric but troubling traits of dinosaurs. Now, they've conducted something known as a reverse evolutionary experiment. This is where they manipulate the genes of modern chickens to induce the legs of a dinosaur. <laughs> I am not making this up. Now, we have a clip of one of these embryos that these researchers have developed. Um, we're going to do it without the sound. Take a look at it. Now, you see uh, this dinosaur-like bone. The researchers, they, they did this by a maturation gene. It's calling it an Indian hedgehog. The bone, it becomes a splintered-like um, bone nick, and it actually, uh, the tibia grows past what a normal chicken's foot would look like. Um, it remains long and connected um, to the ankle like a dinosaur. They've given the chicken a dinosaur foot. As you do. What do you mean? <laughs> it's a cute little chicken in there. <coughs> that, like that was his foot in there? Pet. It was. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, a little baby chick. Why? Because they can. Because they can. And it's really cool. But it's like, are you trying to recreate dinosaurs? What are you trying? Like, what is the purpose of this? I mean, well, yes, it is cool. And you can say that you've just made a dinosaur chicken hybrid. But, you know, maybe I'm just being cynical here. A lot of the time, you know, you see a lot of researchers like, well, why the hell would you do that? But there's always some implications mm -hmm. with that, and there's always a reason. It's gonna help us uh, down the line. I don't think these are evil scientists trying to make robot chicken dinosaurs or something. I think, you know, there, there's, there's a reason for this, and it helps us better understand biology. It's this cool. is their But it's weird. <laughs> I wonder how that chicken tastes. Ew. Like the Like a drumstick. Oh, you had to take it there. Eat like little dinosaur deep fried, though. Off. Tastes like oh, chicken. God. Um, uh, okay, no, that's all right. So the embryonic stage of this of this chicken, um, we need to know that the bird, so the chicken actually develops this uh, tubular fibula um, that the dinosaur that was similar in dinosaurs, but they were able, able to actually recreate the dinosaur foot. Mm -hmm. um, you had a very unique illustration with toes earlier, and we were trying to figure out <laughs> if the toe was webbed or not. Yeah. Um, but in this specific case, it looks like they were able to successfully do this by maturation of genes. And this is the second attempt that these re research scientists have, have done. And it looks like that this one was successful. Um, they've suppressed that fibula. And uh, the question posed, as Nick put it, you know, what's next?